Hi, let's take a look at new Windows 11 balance and combine panner and the VST multi panner plugin. Starting with the stereo project using the Yamaha AIC 128D, I have a pretty basic project of two tracks a mono track and a stereo track. If we look at the mono track, we have a standard balance panner. So if we play these tracks, we can just balance to the left and the right and anywhere in between. If we look at the stereo track, we have the options between a balance panner, standard stereo balance panner, and stereo combined panner. The combined panner links the left and right panner, so you can have a little bit different panning options. You can pan to the left and the right. You can also adjust the distance between the left channels and the right channels. You can also flip the channels left to the right, right to the left, and you will notice that the color of the panner turns orange when the channels are flipped. Now to reset the panner, press and hold command plus click on a Mac or the control key plus click on a Windows machine. Now in this project, I've also added uh, effect channels. In this case, it's the uh, Revelation Stenberg plugin, which comes with new Windows 11. And if I open the channel settings window under send, you can see the Revolution reverb, where I can adjust how much signal I'm sending to the reverb. Now under the Send tab, I also have a panning option here, which I can adjust independently from the panner in a fader section. And I can also link the two together. So under Function menu, I would link panners here. And now the two panners are linked together. Now let's take a look at the LCR, left, center, right configuration. You can pass the channels to the left speaker, right speaker, or center speakers. And if you open the fader section here, you can see you get a standard balance panner. Now if we set this to LCR and we open the fader, you get a VST multi panner. Now if you double click on it, We'll open the plugin and you can see you have mute, solo, read and write automations as well as a little lock here which allows you to, once it's locked, navigate different channels and keep the panner open with a proper panning configuration of the selected track. Now you can use different positioning modes available here. With the standard mode, will let you move the signal freely within the stereo image. And you can see the positioning knobs are moving according to the position of the yellow and red dot. You also have a little handle you can use to move both dots at the same time. You also have different exclusive positions, from left to right, for example. You can also move the dots very slowly from left to right. You can also adjust the distance between the left and right channels independently and use the handle to move both channels at the same time. To reset the panner, press and hold the Option or Alt key and click on the Reset icon. Now you will notice that some of the knobs of the VST multi panner are grayed out. The function ID of the VST multi panner is based on the busing configuration and therefore more knobs and options will become available as we increase the output bus configuration. Next, let's take a look at the 5.1 speaker configuration. Now in this setup, I'm going to open the Mix console. I'm going to use a plugin called Banalizer Studio by Noisemakers, which I inserted on the 5.1 bus here, Post Fader. And this plugin will convert my 5.1 speaker setup into Banal Stereo Audio. Now, if I look at the settings here, I've got a, for inputs 5.1. I can also insert a custom HRTF or SOFA file if I want to, and also offer an LFE low pass on and off option. Now, if I open the VST multi panners from the mix console, I'm going to lock the panner here and play this audio. I can easily move the, this mono bass around. If I press and hold Option or the Alt key in Windows, I have in click, I have a little faders I can move around so I can easily move that sound. X position, Y position, Y positions, back to the middle here. I can also orbit.
well as radius. Also have a distribution, center distribution. Diversions for the front. Front rear. Rear. As well as a level for LFE, so we can send more low end to the LFE here, for example. Now, if I look at the stereo bass here, let's play this. I also have a different perspective overview mode here, which allows me to move the sound around from outside. Yeah, 